First and new tonight at six. Imagine going on vacation and getting the call that your home is on fire. It's awful. The exact nightmare a Hall County family went through days before Christmas. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles has the story of how the Gainesville community has rallied around this family and their three kids. The Carney family were left with only the belongings they had packed. And since they have a newborn, the timing couldn't have been worse. No one dreams of a black Christmas. Well, eight, nine days removed from one of the most tragic things that you know have ever happened to us. And to just be sitting here like things are going to be OK. Ryan Carney says his family is OK physically, but emotionally heartbroken. This is what's left of their family home in Gainesville. I wasn't prepared for what I saw. It was a lot worse than what I expected. It was my great grandmother's house. All of my memories, they were gone. On December 16th, Ryan and his wife, Catherine, were two hours away in Rock Mart, spending time with family for the holidays. Little did they know the vacation would be cut short when neighbors kept calling. A 18 year old, he was sleeping on his couch and he woke up and he just saw flames and then he called 911. Ryan watched in horror on FaceTime. The family rushed back to a pile of ashes inside and outside of their home. Gainesville Fire's investigation concluded that it was an electrical fire. It didn't look as bad as when you're in person and stepping over your children's toys. The family was left with only what they packed in the car. And with Christmas around the corner, Catherine was devastated. I want my kids to be able to wake up to something magical. That's when the Gainesville community stepped in. And it was magical. Not only were John Logan, Elliot, and Harrison showered with gifts and clothes, the Carneys were also able to leave their parents' basement thanks to a family friend with the rental home. He just handed us a key and said, hey, you guys take a few days, decide if this is going to be a good fit. The rental home that kept them cozy for the holidays. The new place came with donated furniture and a Christmas tree just in time. Plus, an online fundraiser has raised three times its goal. And the love keeps pouring in. Churches, the fire station, and Ryan's job all pitched in, restoring their faith in humanity, a Christmas miracle after all. This community, we couldn't have done it without them. In Gainesville, Teresa Bowles, 11 Alive News.